Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is the first for Cubase 13 and it's about the inspector. So this is something which has changed in 13. This video is going to cover a couple of little tips which hopefully will ease your transition into the new way of working. So the first thing you will probably notice with the new inspector is that it is possible to end up with a lot of sections opening as you can see here and then you end up with this mega scroll fest where certainly on my reduced height Mac screen, it's like multiple screens high. This to me is painful. There's too much information, too much space, etc. There's a quick fix for that. So if you right click or two finger tap wherever and tick expand sections exclusively, then only the section you are expanding at any given time will be open. So that makes life much easier. And generally it sticks to being a screen or so worth depending on your screen size, obviously. So that is how I've had mine set since I discovered that option and it's made life much easier for me and keeps the inspector much more useful. But there are times when you wanna see two things at once. There, I would say, use the channel section. So this is turned on here, so the channel zone is, is turned on there, or as it says here, Command Option C or Control Alt C. And then you can have this open. So you can see maybe you're routing at the same time as you're seeing the channel fader, et cetera. So I, I quite like this, like this. I've got my sections set up in a particular way. And that's the final tip of this, not that short quick tips video, which is to set up the sections that you want. So you just, again, right click or two finger tap, click set up sections, and you can turn some off. Now, depending on the track that you're on, you won't be able to see some of these. So because we're on an audio track, these are not relevant. But it doesn't matter. You can choose what you want for the tracks that you want. So let's say you didn't want to ever see the EQ in the inspector. You could turn that off. You can save presets, etc. That's useful for that, although I leave everything turned on. But I think it's useful for the channel section because in the channel section, I just want the EQ overview, inserts, sends, and the channel. I'm going to take the routing out because I left that in there deliberately. So just turning routing off. And then I've got the overview that I want there, but then I can go into the inspector and vice versa. If you get used to the keyboard shortcuts, you can turn them on and off pretty quickly. Or if you're using workspaces, they're saved as part of the workspace as well. So it's pretty easy to do. It's one of those things where I think it may or may not agree with everybody, but after a while, it's okay. So anyway, that's not such a quick quick tips video, but I thought it was relevant because I've seen quite a lot of people uh, having issues with this. And while it's obviously not like the old inspector, it makes it a little easier to handle. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.